Hi everybody, my name is Salim Tallulli, and for those of you who are new here, this is my vlog that is covering my journey as I am attempting to get into the best shape of my life in my mid-40s while juggling full-time work and parenting. If you're like me in middle age and trying to find time to improve yourself, maybe you should stick around. I think this might be helpful to you. March 16th is the Asheville, North Carolina Marathon, and it will be my second marathon. I did the first marathon in New York City in 2022, and I haven't really done much training since, but I figured that if I set myself a goal that I will work towards the goal, and I have been. I've been running faster and better than I ever have. When I trained for the New York City Marathon, I was slow and really out of shape. You know, honestly, I had never run before. The only time I've ever run was for the ice cream truck. So when I was training for the New York City Marathon, I never broke a 15-minute mile, but I still managed to finish the marathon in about nine and a half hours. A win's a win. It has spurred me to want to do better. My goal is to do this marathon in about six and a half hours, and I believe I can. I was able to finish a mile in about 13 minutes and 20 seconds, which is almost two minutes better than my previous best. I'm happy about that. Uh, I haven't really been able to do any distance runs, because, well, two things. One, I've had this problem with gout, which has really affected my foot. And I think the other challenge that I've had is that I haven't had much energy for these distance runs. And I think that is partly due to being on carnivore, meaning I don't have easy access to blood sugar. And also probably because my electrolytes are low. So I'm going to this weekend try and correct for that with a really, really heavy fatty meal several hours before my run and a whole ton of electrolytes before I begin. I'm hoping that that will allow me to get a real distance run in, at least one, before the marathon. There is a chance that I will not be able to finish this marathon in six and a half hours, which is the official cutoff time, and that will suck. But I won't consider that to be a waste because, well, the, the goal was to train for the marathon. That I have been doing. I've been doing it far better than I would have if I didn't have some kind of a goal. The medal is not the point. The point is to help get in shape, and the running and the work that I've been doing have been making significant progress towards that. On the food front, I have been much more focused with my eating. The gout relapse happened because I had a couple of pieces of maple syrup fudge, and that really sent my flare up into a really bad place. I have had to be super strict. Official carnivore diet. I have not been carnivorous. I have been carnivore for the last several weeks. That has resulted in significant drop in weight. I've dropped about nine pounds in the last two weeks and been able to keep it off because I've really eaten nothing but eggs, beef, bacon, and that's about it. So this last week, the my go-to meal has been smash burgers. I have been getting better at that. The caramelization of the smash burgers, you know, my, my food, by doing one thing and doing it better every time, it has gotten significantly better. And, and I find it very filling and satisfying. It's a cheap meal that beef is nutritionally very dense. The one main challenge is that uh, there's no bun. And that is, psychologically, it's not quite satisfying enough, so I've got to figure out a better solution for that that will allow me to get some of that psychological satisfaction. I think I, I stumbled upon it. Uh, I have been making cheese wraps, uh, shredded cheese, microwave it for a minute and a half, and it makes uh, a wrap, essentially, and that has worked to satisfy the desire for being able to hold the burger as opposed to just cutting it on uh, my plate. I just want to end by giving a kind of a weird appreciation to gout as a symptom. It has forced me to be more focused on my diet because I know that even a little bit of veering off the, the path right now is going to make problems for me. I have to be appreciative of the fact that my body is telling me, don't do this, don't fall into temptation because there is going to be a steep consequence. I'm going to run tomorrow and I will keep you all posted. Have a great weekend. Take care.